Good evening, everybody. Um, so this video is going to be particularly for um, those in the Pittsburgh area. So this will be for uh, friends, family, and colleagues. Um, so this is information regarding the winter storm impacts for Pittsburgh. Um, the timing will be 4 a.m. Wednesday through 10 p.m. Thursday. So we definitely have a prolonged period here. Um, we're going to discuss the precipitation type and the snow accumulations as well um, moving forward here. Um, so definitely thank you guys for tuning into this video. Definitely stay safe and God bless. Um, so definitely, you know, the roads may become very dangerous at times. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, definitely hit that subscribe button and enable notifications to ins uh, ensure that you do not miss any weather updates in the future here. Definitely hit that like button as well. Definitely sit back, guys. Relax. Hit those lights. And uh, let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So the question is... Are we going to see a situation like this throughout the area? It's certainly possible. Um, so definitely be on the lookout for certain, uh, situations like this to develop. Um, we're definitely going to go into the actual um, system itself. And we're also going to discuss the snowfall accumulation of this system as well. Uh, so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on that um, just to show you guys here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the GFS model here. You guys can see this is at 10 p.m. Um, tonight, actually, so in about 30 minutes. Um, you can see there's still a little bit of light snow plaguing the area here over into Westmoreland County, um, especially somewhat in the mountainous terrain here as well, up to the north as well. So we definitely have to watch that. Uh, as we go through 1 a.m., that snow is still lingering, uh, lingering around the same area here, so we're definitely going to keep an eye out on that. Um, but definitely as we move forward here, um, so Tuesdays at 10 a.m. is going to bring down um, a little bit of snow showers here from the lakes. Uh, so our northern counties here are definitely going to be affected a little bit here, uh, but not by much. As we step forward a little bit, that snow expands um, to include portions of Ohio here as well as into the uh, higher terrain here in Pennsylvania. And it extends all the way across the northern uh, portion of Pennsylvania here, even into New York. So we're definitely going to keep an eye out on that. Tomorrow night, that snow begins to move out of the area. Unfortunately, this is when the big storm system comes in. So this is 4 a.m. You can see it is light snow for the Pittsburgh area and points south as well and points west. Um, so definitely keep an eye out on this. As we step forward to 7 a.m., we can see those heavier bands definitely uh, coming in here. And especially you can see this heavier snow here in central Ohio. Unfortunately, down through Washington. So this looks like to be the University of California or Penn West University now. Um, definitely getting on some icing action. This includes Bentleyville, Cokeburg, City of Washington, uh, Wolfdale as well. So we're going to have to keep an eye out on this. And as we step forward into 10 a.m., you can see that heavy snow um, developing the, um, across the area. Um, this includes the City of Pittsburgh. And this includes all the way up through Butler, Beaver as well, all the way through Armstrong County into Clarion County. And this extends into the mountainous terrain. Unfortunately, down here into Fayette County and to um, Somerset County, we have that icing going on. So we're going to have to watch out for that as well as into Washington. So Washington looks like to be impacted by some ice as well down through Greene County. Uh, so we're definitely going to keep an eye out on this for sure. This, Like I said, this includes Cokeburg, Bentleyville, Ellsworth, um, the University of California, Penn West here. Um, so definitely be on the lookout for that. Lighter snow up to the north and up to the lakes, um, even uh, lighter snow as well. This is at 10 a.m. on Wednesday. We step forward to 1 p.m. That heavy snow is still plaguing the area here in Pittsburgh. Um, even northern counties here. And you can see the mountainous terrain here, unfortunately, getting that mix. And a lot of ice definitely happening here. So we're going to have to keep an eye out on this. You can see down to the south here as well, just to the south of the Mason-Dixon line here in West Virginia and, and uh, southern Ohio here, this green color. There's actually some rain coming in. So we're actually getting a little, little bit of a warm sector, a warm slot come into this storm system as well. Uh, so we'll definitely keep an eye out on this. And stepping forward into 4 p.m., you can see that rain uh, is actually moving to the north here. We get that warm air push into the Pittsburgh area um, where we can see um, some interesting impacts from this for sure. Definitely can create some glazing on the roads. So we're definitely going to have to watch out for this. This is at 4 p.m. You can see some light snow falling to the north of the city as well. And that heavier snow starts to develop along the lakes here. And still within the mountainous terrain, we have all of that ice developing. So definitely not a good situation for sure. Uh, so we step forward to 7 p.m. You can see a little bit moderate rain uh, moving in. Um, it actually encompasses most of the area, and here comes that low-pressure system here. Um, you can see that uh, clear slot developing, or that dry slot here, over the mountainous terrain, Somerset and Bedford County here. You can still see some of the ice uh, developing, especially here into northern Pennsylvania and southern New York. 
You can see that rain actually makes it all the way up to near Erie as well. Um, so it's definitely a very, very interesting situation. As we move forward to 10 p.m. on Wednesday, we're still being plagued by rain. We're going to have to watch those temperatures um, as this rain could turn into freezing rain as well. So we're going to have to watch this very, very closely. And as we head into 1 a.m. on Thursday, that cold air behind the system comes back, wrapping back around again. A little bit of a dry slot here in the Pittsburgh area, down to, uh, towards Washington, Cokeburg, um, California University, Penn West, and uh, almost down into Waynesburg as well. We're seeing that clear slot here, or that dry slot. Rain for the mountainous terrain, which is very interesting. A little bit of icing here down through uh, Preston County here. Um, and through Merritt, uh, Maryland here, we're definitely going to have to watch out for that. But light snow for the rest of the area, um, except over here in north central Pennsylvania, where we have that heavy snow uh, developing. As we continue into 4 a.m. on Thursday, we get those pockets of heavier snow coming in as well. Light snow overtakes the area. Very little rain left. You can see this little pocket of rain here. Uh, but other than that, it looks like we're going to get that wraparound flow behind this storm system. We're just going to create those lake effect bands. We're going to have to watch out for these for sure. 7 a.m. on Thursday, we're still continuing that, that light snow um, over much of the area, except for um, the mountainous terrain and uh, east of the mountains here, where there's no precipitation expected. A little bit of clear slot here in um, central and southern Ohio as well. Heavier snow developing along the lake here, so we're going to have to watch out for that for sure. As we head into 10 a.m., we get a little bit of a clearing here in the Pittsburgh area. This may be a glitch in the model here. I'm guessing it's still going to be some light snow flurries in the area. Uh, but up by the lakes, again, we're still going to have that heavy snow. And down through the mountainous terrain in the Appalachian Mountains, we're going to have that heavier snow as well. So this is 10 a.m. on Thursday. And we move into 1 p.m. We're still getting hit with that light snow here. Um, so you can definitely see this prolonged event, especially up here in the uh, near the lakes. We're going to have to watch this very carefully. And as we step forward to 4 p.m., we still have that light snow plaguing the area. So definitely, um, we can definitely see the, the accumulations are definitely going to be on the rise here. And by 7 p.m. Thursday, looks like this system is definitely moving out. Um, we're definitely getting that light snow tapering off. And then 1 a.m. on Friday, that snow is virtually almost gone throughout the entire area, um, except down through Greene County, Fayette County, Somerset County as well, Indiana, Westmoreland as well, still getting hit. Portions of uh, to the south of Cleveland here, definitely getting hit. A little bit of snow uh, popping up here in certain counties here um, in Ohio, so we're going to have to watch that. And then up here to the east of Lake Erie, we still have that uh, lake effect bands uh, happening here. So we're going to have to watch out for that. 4 a.m. and then 7 a.m. Unfortunately, 10 a.m. It does look like that snow comes back. We have a, a little bit of a clipper system coming through as well. Uh, so we're going to have to watch this for sure. Uh, but let's actually go back to the beginning here. I definitely want to go to um, the winter precipitation that we, we can see here. Um, so let's go all the way to the 10 to 1 ratio here. Um, so let me zoom back up a little bit. Um, so 10 p.m. tonight, so about 25 minutes from now, we could definitely see some of that snow accumulating here um, through southeastern Westmoreland County into Somerset County as well, so the mountainous terrain. You can see it's about um, less than an inch here, and then most of the area is getting a slight dusting of snow as well. Pittsburgh area looks pretty clear. Uh, as we head into the overnight hour, so 1 a.m. all the way through 7 and through tomorrow at 10 a.m., you can see Pittsburgh area is still pretty clear. You can definitely see some of that heavier snow. So we're looking at about up to an inch here up near the lakes. Everywhere else about a dusting except in the high terrain here. We're looking about um, up to an inch or um, even down here into the mountainous terrain of West Virginia. We're looking about uh, one to two inches of snowfall here. And as we step forward, we can actually see um, this is 7 a.m. on Wednesday. So you can definitely see the Pittsburgh area is getting hit with some snow. We're looking at a little over an inch here. Um, snowfall accumulations, you can see that brighter band coming in um, through central and southern Ohio where two and a half to three inches of snow is expected. As we progress forward, three hours later, we're looking at about four inches, three to four inches of snow here. So um, definitely be on the lookout for that. It could create very, very interesting travel conditions around 10 a.m. Um, you can see uh, some portions here in Ohio, about five to six inches of snow. Mountainous terrain, the same thing, about three to five inches here. Up towards the lakes, we're getting about 1.6 to about 2 inches of snow here. And as we step this forward all the way through Friday, we'll go to 4 a.m. on Friday, we can see that the Pittsburgh area receives between 3 and 5 inches of snow uh, from this system. So we're going to have to watch this very carefully. You can see this brighter band as well. This brighter band could move in um, to the area. Definitely uh, Beaver Falls and the Butler could definitely see uh, four, 4 to 6 inches, possibly even 4 to 8 inches. We're going to have to watch this carefully. You can see the mountainous terrain, about 6 to 8, possibly even 12 inches uh, occurring here 
um, into portions of Somerset County, Westmoreland County as well, and even uh, northeastern Fayette County as well. So we're going to have to watch this. If we go all the way through, we get that little clipper system that comes through. Um, so we can see this is Saturday at 1 a.m. We can see that that snow totals, the uh, brighter bands, the uh, dark blue and the purple here coming in. You can see Beaver Falls and Butler about six inches of snow here. Pittsburgh area between four and six. We're going to have to watch this very carefully. So from the main system that's coming in, we're definitely going to have to watch that. So the main system um, that will actually be 4 a.m. Wednesday through uh, 10 p.m. Thursday is going to bring about three to five inches of snow into the Pittsburgh area. So we're definitely going to have to watch that very carefully. And then as that clipper system comes through, it's going to bring in additional one to three inches across the area as well. Um, so that is the local forecast, guys. I definitely appreciate you joining me for this um, for this uh, sort of lecture or broadcast here. Uh, let me show you the freezing rain totals here as well. Um, this would be through Saturday at 1 a.m. You can definitely see that we could get a, up to a quarter inch of ice here in Somerset County, um, through Bedford County here, down through Fayette as well. A glazing of ice down here through Washington and Greene County, so we're going to have to pay attention to this. This could definitely um, create very, very treacherous travel conditions, um, along with the snow as well. And you can definitely see the remainder of the area in the high terrain here, um, receiving about a trace um, to a glaze of ice here as well. And then down through the higher terrain here, we could possibly see um, up, up to a half an inch of ice. Um, that, that might be a little overdone, but we'll definitely, um, might be overzealous at that point, but we'll definitely keep an eye out on that. All right, guys, definitely thank you for joining me for this uh, short briefing here. Just wanted to make sure that you guys um, in the Pittsburgh area, so my friends, family, and colleagues um, get that information. Um, definitely consider sharing this information out there. It'll definitely help. Um, I know a couple people at work will definitely want to hear this information as well. So I know that um, a few contacts at work definitely have more contacts than I do. Uh, so definitely share this information to them. So um, just an overview, we're getting about three to five inches of snow from this main system. Uh, this would be 4 a.m. Wednesday through 10 p.m. Thursday. And then we're also looking at that little clipper system on the back side of this as well coming down uh, that can give us an additional one to three inches across the area. Uh, so we're definitely looking at uh, possibly four to eight inches of snowfall across the Pittsburgh area uh, through Saturday morning. So we'll definitely have to watch this uh, very closely. It doesn't look like any ice accumulation here in the Pittsburgh area. However, down through Washington, down through Penn West California University, and uh, down through Cokeburg, Bentleyville, Waynesburg as well. We're looking at a uh, glazing of ice, so definitely very treacherous gravel conditions. So if you were traveling down towards Washington um, and down towards uh, Cokeburg, areas like that, um, definitely uh, expect some very, very treacherous uh, travel conditions. I would not uh, suggest traveling. Um, it definitely could get very treacherous, especially along the highways there. And uh, the back roads could definitely be very, very hazardous. But all right, guys, definitely thank you for joining me. Definitely appreciate that. And always remember, never stop chasing.